Each of us must take responsibility for our actions, our well-being, and the attainment of our maximum potential. It's been said that most people go through life as volunteer victims. Take responsibility for your actions, for their choices. A friend of mine, he lost his temper in an argument in a public place. And here's a guy that was a public official. And he engaged in an argument and it evolved into a fight. And I said, what are you doing? Why did you do that? And he said, he made me do it. He made me mad. And the truth of the matter is, that person did not. He, he did not take responsibility that he had a choice to respond or react. And he reacted in anger. I remember I did the same thing and a friend of mine told me that anger is a wind that blows out the lamp of the mind. Each day, we have to be consciously conscious of the fact that we are responsible for our actions, not our circumstances, not other people, not the things that we've experienced or the things that we're going through. We are responsible. George Bernard Shaw said, the people that make it in this life, they look around for the circumstances that they want, and if they can't find them, they create them. We're responsible for our circumstances, for our environment, for our well-being. We can choose to, to reinvent ourselves and taking care of the things that we know we should do, like physical fitness, eating properly, maintaining a, a positive attitude, uh, nurturing ourselves spiritually and emotionally, all the things that, that we can consciously engage in that shows our living from a place of ownership, taking responsibility. And so as we do that, our actions, taking responsibility, our well-being, taking responsibility, and our maximum potential, living outside of our comfort zone, which Brian Tracy calls the danger zone, challenging yourself, raising the bar on yourself, knowing that you're gonna fail your way to success, willing to take some chances in life, becoming a risk taker, to find out what is it that you have within you. Uh, and I think about Viscott, he said, if you're not willing to risk, you cannot grow. And if you can't grow, you can't become your best. And if you can't become your best, you can't be happy. And if you can't be happy, then what else is there? And so part of taking responsibility for your maximum potential is to push the envelope, is to stretch yourself, is to hold yourself accountable to a higher standard, operating out of the thinking of, of Henry David Thoreau, who said, do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail. You have responsibility for that because you have something in you that's unique, something in you that only you have that, and that's greatness, and you have responsibility to bring it out. Your maximum potential, to bring it out, to begin to take responsibility for your well-being, to be focused on that, and for the actions that you take each and every day, taking responsibility for the consequences those actions create. That's my story and I'm sticking to it.